Hello everybody, welcome to an episode on uh, Europa Universalis 4. Today, we are going to be playing as the little province of Lubeck, right over here. And as we can see, we start with all of these allies. Let's look at the diplomatic view, right here and here. I do believe that they also start out as uh, a uh, trade. What is it, what is it called? get exactly what it's called, but let's just get right into the game. Um, I'm just going to be playing normal mode for now. Uh, one of my, uh, one of the people I talked to has, uh, had a, uh, has had a problem where, uh, I guess some of his videos messed up. One of my, uh, fellow YouTubers that I talked to a lot has had a ton of his videos, I guess, mess up the quality, and I just want to make sure that if I can't, uh, if I don't get good quality or this or that or something goes wrong, I want to be able to at least restart so that I can give you guys the best experience possible during this playthrough. But I will try not to do that. So, uh, and if I do do that, I will be telling you guys. And uh, hopefully we can get this done as uh, quickly as possible. Nothing, nothing going wrong. Anyway, let's uh, jump right into the game. Let's play. Playing as a little playing a uh, special graphics mod. If you're new to Europe Universalis, this isn't actually what it looks like. Uh, if you don't know what it looks like, go look up uh, pictures of it. I might be willing to put a picture right in front of you guys. But anyway, first of all, we want to select a mission. Uh, let's solidify our papal relations, and let's send a diplomat over to Saxe Lauenburg and build a spy network because I do believe that they don't get really too many allies early on. Um, offer alliance. Oh, so these guys hate me in this game. So I was playing a test game earlier where these guys actually liked me for some reason. I don't know. Apparently these guys hate me in this version of the game. Uh, Let's choose some rivals. I'm going to choose Saxe Lauenburg because, you know, I'm fabricating a claim. Going to choose uh, Mecklenburg. Hopefully they don't ally Denmark like in the last game. And I'm going to rival East Frisia. Um, we also, yeah, we got rivals. We can get one ally. I really want to get a few allies because look at the diplomatic view. I mean, we have a few friends here, but uh, do these guys like me? Pomerania likes us, so... Uh, Denmark, what do they think of us? Diplomacy. And we'll get an alliance with Denmark. We'll speed up the time, and we'll make sure everything else is going fine. Our economy's doing well in the lower maintenance, because we don't need that right now. We're already making a ton of money. Trade, we're already doing good with that. Tech, this, that, the other thing. I don't know. Um, we're not going to mothball our fort for now. I mean, I guess let's look at our force limit, okay. I mean, we really only need eight troops. I'm going to keep the diplomatic view on this guy. Uh, anyway, so diplomacy, who rivaled? Um, let's look at the uh, opinion map mode. So everybody around him hates him, everybody else is indifferent. Okay, whatever. Let's... Oh. <laughs> well, I said they were going to accept, I don't know about... Wait. Bremen and Hamburg want an alliance with us. Uh, sure, I guess. I mean, Lauenberg, I'm going to decline your, uh, if you give us a, a diplomatic, uh, what is it, alliance? If you give us an alliance request, I'm probably gonna decline it just so I can conquer you guys later on if I'm feeling like it. Anyway, let's continue. Let's keep an eye on, uh, these guys. They've allied Bremen over here. Okay. <laughs> And, okay, there we go. 
So we're, uh, we have some pretty big uh, increase in our spy network. That's pretty good. Uh, that'll be really quick. I think less than 10 months. So at the end of this year. Anyway, uh, okay, I don't really care about that trade league down there. I don't know why it's telling me that. But, I mean, probably. Okay. Um, set down messages from interesting countries. Names. What? What? What's going on here? I guess there's a trade league for these countries, but... I mean, why? Wh what? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's continue. Uh, yeah. So, our spy network should be doing pretty good. These guys hopefully don't get... Why? What? <laughs> oh my god. Jelray and Janela. Oh my god. That's just... That's just... I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Like, why? Why would you join a trade league with someone that far away from you? I've never seen that. I guess I guess it could happen, but it's just really, really weird for me. Anyway, um, yeah, Lou Beck used to, uh, be called La Hansa, and, I mean, they used to, uh, own these three provinces that are blue and green, but, uh, now they don't. Bremen used to be on this province. Hamburg didn't used to exist, these guys used to didn't exist, and, uh, I mean, I guess that's just how it used to go for you for it used to be easier to play as these guys, but uh, now it's a little more difficult. Uh, my friend is playing as Hamburg. Um, he's the guy I was talking about who had that uh, problem. I mean, I want to make sure that I can redo things if stuff like that happens, because I don't want to put out videos that are com really terrible, you know? I don't want to put out videos that are terrible quality compared to what I usually put out. And, I mean, it's kind of unfair to you guys if you guys are seeing my videos and you expect a certain quality. So, hopefully... Okay, let's check these guys. Oh, no. Yeah, let's check these guys. So, hopefully, uh, nothing goes wrong with my videos. Uh, Muscovy and Novgorod are already at war. Uh, Friesland has joined Venice's... Okay, whatever. Next month, we will be able to get our claim. So I'm gonna fabricate a claim. And fabricate a claim on Lauenburg. Okay. So we now have a claim on Lauenburg. We got the Casus Belli on them. Uh, more people joining Venice's uh, trade league. So these guys are allies. So they'll probably take care of. Anyway. If I attack these guys, they are only allied. I can declare war. These guys join. No, they won't join, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to see if I can get a general. Okay, let's do this. Better general than my previous game. These guys don't have a general. Yeah, I probably should be able to win, but I'm going to build build three more troops, bring myself up to my force limit. Uh, when will these guys be done by? November 28th. So, I am going to, because I'm pretty sure I can win this war anyway. Basically, declare war on Saxe Lauenburg. So, actually, I'm going to do that right at the end of the year. But I'm going to declare war on Saxe Lauenburg. Fifty first in the game, huh? So, so combine these units. And, uh, January. Well, oh, Surrender of Maine. Let's go look at that. Oh, so they didn't actually give away Maine yet. It's just occupied. 
So these guys at war. Yeah, they're at war, all right. Let's look at the diplomatic view. So England looks like it's probably going to lose some territory up here. Um, that's to be expected. Um, I don't know. Uh, England always loses territory, but I don't think France... I think there'll be too much aggressive expansion if France uh, tries to take all of that. But, yeah, you know, who cares if France gets, gets a ton of aggressive expansion? I mean, it's a big blue blob, for crying out loud. Anyway, uh, let's, let's continue. And, uh... Let's declare some war. Declare war. Um, yeah, I mean, fine, I guess. Wait, let me see what Verdan. Allied Brandenburg. Yeah, no, I'm not tempting that. Let's declare war. I can't really call my allies, so that's a shame, but... Let's take Lauenburg. Okay. Not a hundred fleet. I don't care about my fleet, dang it. Okay. Okay. Declare war and march right into... Oh, they hired a general right at the last second. Well, you know that never works. And these guys aren't doing anything. And these guys spawned in, so I will send them over here. Join them up. And then uh, when the next guys join in, I will send them over as well. So, there we go. Let's combine them up. And now we have 11 troops compared to the 5k. I mean, he has a uh, 2 star general, but I mean a 5 2 general. And that is really good, but I doubt he could beat a, even 11 troops with that. I mean, probably, maybe, if he gets the good rolls, but I mean, I don't think that he's going to win. He, he obviously won't, uh, he obviously won't, uh, lose his army, it'll just retreat, but it, it won't stack white, but, you know... We're going to quickly get this province, and then we're going to march into the grasslands of Stade and uh, take them out. And we're losing money. Great. <sighs> I mean, that's great. And we won the siege. So, these guys. Let's go through Lauenburg. And we're beating the army. Squashing it like a fly. And we stack wiped them. I guess I was wrong about that. I mean, I guess we do stack wipe. Uh, your units have suffered casualties. I don't care. We're winning the war. And that should be good enough. Mecklenburg, do you have any allies? Denmark, obviously. <laughs> wow. Denmark. But I doubt the AI is dumb enough to declare wars with the assumption that their allies would join because if I were Mecklenburg I would I would attack Lübeck and Sexy Lauenburg and uh what is it Lunenburg cuz I know that uh you is like a uh, uh what is it in like Uber and stuff like that so what is it Lunenburg yeah Lauenburg Lübeck yeah Lübeck it's the same you, so. Anyway, let's conquer up this province, and we'll see what happens after that. I mean, if we're going to do anything extra in the episode, we might uh, prepare up for another war, maybe against Lundberg. I mean, Lundberg over here, I mean, they are a part of our trade league, but I could kick them out and then just attack them. They have no allies whatsoever. Which is a shame, and, I mean, it would be a shame if someone really were to attack them, I don't know. So in my other game, I have pretty much taken these five provinces without Hamburg. I mean, I mean these provinces over here are what I'm going after next. I just have a test game, just so I can test things out on that game before I uh, 
do it on this game, even though it will be different, just so I can make sure things are possible. Because I don't want to go in with a plan and then say, oh dang, this doesn't work. I want to give you guys a fairly, uh, uh, pretty good entertainment and entertainment value, and I don't want to just lose the entire time. That wouldn't really be, that wouldn't be good when it comes to, uh, entertainment, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's continue here. Yeah, we don't need you. Um, let's try and get an ally with Pomerania, but they wouldn't accept because we are at war. But once we get out of war, they would accept. Okay, I guess. So once we exit, once we end the war, we'll ally Pomerania. Pomerania will probably go to war with Brandenburg, and if we get Lauenburg, we can try and ask for Altmark. I don't know. Expand in whichever way we can, but we just got the uh, Siege of Stade. Over here, Stade, Stade, however you pronounce it, I don't know. Um, let's see here. Let's send our... Let's get a separate diplomat in Verden. Stade. And that would be 18 aggressive expansion, but we could get the province, actually. Um, that would be 10 overextension. Who cares about overextension? That's 18 aggressive expansion. Uh, that's some pretty big aggressive expansion. I don't know about that. We might not be able to get our ally. Um, 18 aggressive expansion. I want to see how much aggressive expansion we get with uh, Lauenburg over here. If we take Lauenburg, and because it's the war goal, we don't really have to pay too much war score. We get barely any aggressive expansion. But with these guys, and our aggressive expansion goes up a lot right now. The whole point of this uh, series is to conquer provinces, but I do not think, I do not think that we can really afford it right now. I'm probably just going to go for Lauenburg currently. I will get a ton of money. Maybe make them a vassal. That'll be less war score, right? And we can still do that. Yeah, have like a vassal. <laughs> That's how it's going to work. A vassal and two provinces. First war of the game. Pretty successful, I'd say. Um, let's, let's just send the demand. And they've accepted our totally generous peace offer. Um, we demand their full annexation. Verden becomes a vassal of Lübeck. saxe lauenburg will pay 92 ducats to Lübeck. Will result in 0.46 inflation for Lübeck. Peace will cost 30 diplomacy. With the conquest, Casus Belli, Lübeck suffers 7.4 aggressive expansion relations penalty. 7.4. Lubeck gains 3.7 prestige. They lose the same. And we gain 3 power projection. Fine. Let's check what people like us. Uh, everybody... Everybody pretty much thinks the same of us. Uh, Brunswick, Verden. Verden doesn't like us. Let's... They are loyal, though, but let's improve relations, which means they are under 50% liberty desire, and they will go down in liberty desire when we improve relations with them. Um, I will core this, this autonomy, um, what else are we going to do? I'm going to keep my troops here. Let's look, see if there are any... Okay, so nobody wants to revolt. That's good. Let's reduce that. Reduce that. Too few rivals. We will choose as a rival someone who is fairly weak. Let's see who uh, Brunswick's allies are. Brandenburg. Dang. Yup. No. Uh, 
Um, East Frisia is no longer a valid rival. Ooh, we can choose two rivals. Um, I want to choose... Well, we could make Pomerania an ally, and they'd be a decent ally, but... I think we should choose... Pomerania. And Brunswick. Oh, we got some provincial unrest. Uh, I don't care because these guys are dumb. Okay. And we are in improving relations with Okay, so let's look at our diplomatic view. And so, if someone were to declare war on me, these are all the people that would be required to join in. Because these guys, in a trade league, each member agrees to transfer trade member. Each league member is joined in defense of wars. So therefore, we are a bit of a force to be reckoned with. Kinda. I mean, these guys have barely an army. These guys have one troop. Um... But everybody else has fairly good uh, military. We are coring Lauenburg over here. And we are improving relations with Verdun. So, um, well, let's just uh, take that in for a second. I mean, uh, France, if we go back to them, have conquered all of mainland Europe that owned that is owned by England um, seems like they might declare a peace deal soon when they realize that they can't get to Kent I mean in my France game I conquered the uh, southern coast of England except for London uh, but this was a long time ago and it was still three provinces on the bottom not four uh, but I don't know France seems to be doing pretty good. Burgundy hasn't fallen yet. Austria is still still the same size it was. Poland has its uh, trademark war with the Teutonic Order. Uh, Denmark. Sweden hasn't declared any independence. So, I mean, this seems like a fairly, uh, fairly uh, generic game of EU4. Ottomans are attacking Serbia, like, like usual. Uh, Teutonic Order has, has been... Uh, Conquering Moldavia down here. I don't know what they're doing. And, uh, well, and we conquered uh, Lauenburg. If we look on the map, we can see that our name is bigger than it used to. We can actually see our name now, kinda. Um, I don't know. And then when we annex these guys, we'll have an extra province. Dithmarchen, who are you allied with? Mecklenburg. Ooh. Now that, if I declare war on Dithmarchen, right? Because I could cl I could get a, uh, hopefully, I think I might be able to get a claim. No, I can't get a claim. But if they don't get any new allies, I mean, hey, that's a pretty easy war to win. Just Mecklenburg and Dithmarchen. 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 I don't know, whatever. Anyway, with that being said, it looks like we've concluded our first episode of Europa Universalis IV, uh, Lubeck, uh, conquering, uh, conquering Lauenburg. And, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to, uh, you know, do all the usual commenting, subscribing, and liking, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um... Well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully, we can go after uh, Lundberg or maybe some other countries like, I don't know, Diffmarchen if we end up uh, getting Stade into our uh, empire and claiming on Diffmarchen. That'll probably be in a few episodes, though. Um, so, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And, uh, 
Bye-bye.